Hi everyone, here I will show you the tools you need with painting watercolor. First, you need an appropriate and luminous space where you can paint in peace. It is a good idea to be near a window where you can get natural light. The most important materials are paper, brushes, and watercolors. So try to invest in good brands. So the paper, I recommend you to use Canson paper. I like to use aquarello, arches or Montbal. In this case I prefer papers where the surface is not very rough and not very thick, like 270 grams per square meter. And I also love the snowy surface, the snowy surface because I can play uh, a lot with the textures and the colors at the same time. Now watercolors. What to buy? As I said before, try to invest in a good brand. Don't buy school watercolors pants. They are good for children but not for a professional artist purpose. So I recommend watercolors in tubes like Shinhan. They are Korean. Or watercolors in square pans like Cutman brand. Additional watercolors that can uh, complement your tools, your materials are liquid ones like Windsor and Newton. They are very brilli brilliant and intense colors. Also You can use the pencil water colors. Next material are the brushes. In this case, I prefer soft natural hair brushes than the synthetic ones because they have better retention uh, when you're talking about water and pigmentation, and the strokes on paper are gentler and easier. For example, Kolinsky sable brushes are the most expensive ones, so maybe you can just buy like this um, a natural hair brush and you will get excellent results. I recommend you to use mechanical pencils than the normal ones because they are more practical. Make sure you always have toilet paper to clean or absorb excessive water. A sponge is also used uh, for different techniques. You can use a normal sponge or a marine one. The marine sponge are more expensive, so you can also use a normal one. I prefer plastic containers because they are safer. I prefer a tray or a dish than a palette because you have more freedom to play with the colors but here depends on you. Practice makes perfect, so don't be afraid of mixing colors and have fun. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you find this video helpful. Bye!